The recently aired Dragon Ball Super episode 114 ep featured a rather surprising twist at the end, and it has effectively managed to strike a chord with fans of the long-running Anime series. If the preview for DBS at 114 is any indication, it would seem like a Patara fusion might very well happen in the Tournament of Power. That's right. Dragon Ball Super just teased a Patara fusion, and it would involve two of the franchise's newest Saiyans. During the preview for DBS episode 114, it was teased that Kalithla and Kale, the two female Saiyans from Universe 6, would fuse together to form a mighty warrior capable of matching Son Goku's more advanced Super Saiyan forms. The two female fighters struggled significantly in Dragon Ball Super Episode 113, with the young warriors being unable to defeat Goku despite having a two-against-one advantage, according to noted DBS fan translator Todd Blankenship. During Episode 113, Kalithla and Kale, despite transforming to their strongest forms, were unable to defeat the Universe 7 veteran, who was still clearly holding back. Dragon Ball Super Episode 113 ended with Kale going full berserker and Goku referring to her as a legendary Super Saiyan in the NEP. With this, it seems like DBS is indeed trying to canonize Broly, while hyping up the Universe 6 Saiyans further. The short preview for Dragon Ball Super Episode 114 started with scenes featuring Berserker Kale going after Super Saiyan Goku. During the succeeding scenes, it was revealed that Goku would transform to his Super Saiyan 2 form, and that he would trade blows with both Kalifla and Kale at the same time. To the surprise of many Dragon Ball Super fans, the final scene of the DBS Episode 114 ep teased a new, powerful, female warrior wearing Patara earrings. As luck would have it, U6's Saiyans would be fusing together to challenge Son Goku. View image on Twitter view image on Twitter view image on Twitter view image on Twitter. Follow. Eau, L-A-D-B-S-U-P-E-R 2015. ZK6NS Mue Unlaut Degrees Il Euros Mue Unlaut Degrees E Unlaut N Thornzo, A1029, A. 9 bso tilde sedilla aei gravo acute kkf eau 113 qjjwk s 0 est set ksau circumflex blpjs y number eau https colon slash slash yaudu dot b slash o 2 e b x 0 0 s b z m 755 pm october 28 2017 4343 replies 1250 1250 retweets 3059 3059 likes. Twitter adds info and privacy. The last frame of the NEP featured the face of the fused Saiyan fighter. If the NEP is any indication, Kalifla and Kale's fused form will start in her base form, and her appearance, just like other fused warriors, would be a mixture of both U6 fighters. So far, it seems like U6's first fused Saiyan would feature Kalithla's sharp eyes and confident expression, as well as Kale's wild, spiky hair. Overall, the repercussions of a fusion happening in the Tournament of Power are huge. For one, it establishes the fact that a pair of Patara earrings is present in the arena. Apart from this, it also proves that fusions are allowed in the rules of the multiverse battle royale. This means that a well-hyped and much-requested fight might happen in the next few episodes. If things go well, there is a fairly good chance that Vegito Blue might fight against Jiren. While a bit ambitious, the fact remains that all the ingredients of such an intense fight are already present. Goku and Vegeta are still in the Tournament of Power, and they have Patara earrings to spare. The premise of Vegito Blue battling Jiren has been thrown around in the Dragon Ball Super community for a while now, with many fans speculating that the fused fighter would likely give the Pride Trooper a good fight. If Dragon Ball Super continues giving out fan service every week, then it would not be too outlandish to speculate that Vegito Blue might soon trade blows with the unstoppable force that is Jiren. Now that is a fight that would truly be epic.